Hey, what is up, my beautiful people? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Yep, you are watching Leto Indie now, and it's your buddy here, Jimmy. I am here at uh, Tuas Temple Cebu. Yes, and this place is so freaking cool. But one thing about this place is kind of a bit uh, private, so they don't collect any if you come in. As for what I've known here, just come in without paying any entrance fee. But it's on a private, I mean the subdivision, so they don't accept like motorcycle coming in, people walking in. They only accept you coming through a taxi or a private wheels vehicle yep hey what is up guys we are on our way to the main entrance of Harris temple here in Cebu and of course we are on the motorcycle going in yeah and it's kind of a bit noisy but anyways it's cool though yeah such amazing homes here also we are at the entrance now but there is a problem the problem is uh, because the Taoist is situated on subdivision land they don't allow people walking in and traveling uh, with a motorcycle so we have to go back take a taxi and come in so now we are inside the taxi heading towards the Taoist temple such an amazing driveway, amazing place. So we are here at the Taos Temple, Cebu. What a beautiful design. So this is actually the temple line. In simplified version of Cebu Tao's temple is actually traditional Chinese. So there's some kind of things related to the Chinese traditional culture. Yeah, anyways. So the temple is located in uh, Beverly Hills subdivision of Cebu. Yes, and the temple is built by Cebu substantial Filipino Chinese community in 1972 with an elevation of almost 110 meters here yeah, 110 meters uh, maybe 360 feet something like that yep. above the sea level so what a beautiful place yeah but the place is so cool so amazing even like for example like all the houses here inside the subdivision here like for example look at this one it's such a pretty amazing house the other one up there a very nice beautiful home here yeah so the Taoist temple is open for the worshippers and also the non worshippers so i think that's the pretty amazing thing so yeah you can visit anytime you want to visit the Taoist temple. I really like the landscaping here, the green trees bringing in fresh air. It's so damn amazing. And yeah, this is it. It's such an amazing place. How is this some like yeah but it is a temple everywhere there's a sign saying please observe silence not taking a picture of the saint inside. 
and I don't know where he's sent. Uh, excuse me, sir. Is it okay to go up there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay. Actually, the person behind me just told me to wear my mask. That's why I have to put on my mask. Yeah. Okay. Let's see this place. This one is a little bit higher than the, the first, I mean the lower one. So up here is much more beautiful than down there. This is actually some kind of place they used to, you know, worship. Yeah. Though I'm from a different religion, but I respect every other religion. The same as my own religion. You know, we have to respect one another. Kishinia is very, very nice. Really love that walks here. The temple Toas they worship for Toas you. Uh, it's it. It's kind of religion which follows the teaching of an ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Zhi. Wow, yeah, what a name, Lao Zhi. And all the design here just fit everything with the religion. If you want to visit as a local, well, it's up to you. And as a tourist, uh, there's a lot of uh, guide books and travel agencies that offer a safe trip to temple. Or, of course, in a tour around Cebu City. Yeah, so check out, get one for yourself, and visit the Taoist temple here in Cebu. The entrance of the temple was a replica of the Great Wall of China. Well, that looked pretty cool though. Yeah, so anyway, it is what it is for today. And hope you guys having an amazing day. And enjoy of watching yourself. Enjoy filming it. And thank you for hanging out with me. It's your buddy here, Jimmy. And you are watching Let's Open It Yes, have a safe day. Hi. Thanks. Bye bye.